Hello, what comes in your mind when you hear juvenile children who are in conflict with the law? Of course, you think about crime, about how they are in the prison. But we are trying to break that stereotype by making it inclusive. In partnership with the office of the Second Lady, Her Excellency Pastor Dorcas Rigadi closed the gap Kenya and take its Africa. We have decided to also include them in the exposure of the 21st century skill sets so that they are able to explore the world and contribute to the growth of the economy and innovation by introducing them to robotics, coding, mobile app development, website development, and all other good technology skills that are going to make them change the entire world and have a very powerful tool to be able to express their passion. Welcome and listen to more of this story. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. My name is Justina Mongombe. I'm a senior superintendent of prisons and the superintendent in charge of Shimo Latewa Boston Institution and Boys Education Center, where we are now. This institution um, is a safe space. I can call it a safe space, but it's an institution for boys. And um, it's an institution for boys only. And the boys whom we admit here are committed direct from the courts, different offenses, but the age is what brings them together here because of that age bracket of 15 to 18 years. And the specific offenses are those offenses that are punishable through imprisonment, but by the fact that by the time the courts were finishing or finalizing on their cases to award them punishment, the boys were found to be 15 and below 18 years. For today, I'm excited that uh, apart from the normal programs that we offer with our teachers, Close the Gap and Take Kids Africa are coming in to help us in this mandate of training boys and education. Well, what actually triggered us to um, have and install a classroom there, because with a classroom we always think about schools, but not about other institutions who could benefit from such a setup, is um, the office of Pastor Darkos and uh, she herself, who we had the honor to um, um, visiting us here in December. And since then, she has a top of mind as one of the partners that can help to bring um, digital inclusion to um, young children all over in Kenya. And these and the partners, that is the Close the Gap and Tech Kids Africa, will be offering IT skills to the boys up to some advanced level, robotics and coding and the rest. And that is very positive because that is the application part of computer uh, classes that we offer in a normal day. So we also have a combination of business planning, personal branding, Your and package. Package. so I appreciate this collaboration because we had a limitation that we didn't have computers for the same and Close the Gap has donated, donated 20 computers like three weeks ago and today they have come up with a team and installed them. We now have a running computer lab. The institution only had two functional computers being shared amongst 200 boys at the institution. Therefore, it was almost impossible for them to grasp any digital skill uh, within that capacity. We fitted the IT classroom with 20 computers, which shall now be used to facilitate such trainings. And the tech kids have also come in. Today we had a PI mm -hmm. session, public information, information session with them. They have explained to the boys how the program will run and how they will support the boys. And the boys are very excited. We are targeting for the first cohort, we are targeting those who are ready to go home as a job readiness program. 
so that in their reintegration they are able to apply the units, the skills and knowledge that we have imparted mm -hmm. on them in their three years training here. The power of such a computer lab and a, a hub as we are uh, founding here in this institute together with partners such as Tech Kids Africa is really about giving those young kids all the tools they need to actually get back on track in a second lease of life that they get, get a second chance of coming out and become inspiring examples to society and to their peers. So a group of 20 per cohorts starting from next week will be in for a class and each cohort will have an expo before their graduation so that we call in the other people to come and see what the boys have done the value addition that has been made through this collaboration before they are awarded their certificates to use outside there. I'm particularly proud to have witnessed my compatriot Olivier van den Ende, who runs Close the Gap here in, uh, here in Mombasa, to have been in partnership with, together with the, the Office of the Second Lady and the Kenya Prison Service and the Borsal Institute of the, of the Shimulatewa Prison here in Mombasa, to have set up this amazing um, institution and this amazing project where the, the, the young boys who have been incarcerated and who have who come into trouble are being given the chance to reintegr reintegrate into society with the skills that they will need to become successful young men um, once they've, they've paid their dues to society. Um, I think this is, a, this is an, an absolutely incredible project. Um, I, I find Close the Gap's generosity in this awesome. I find the endorsement from the, second, from the office of the Second Lady and from the, and from the office of the, of the Deputy President, I, found that, I find that endorsement inspiring and important. Um, these kids are going to finally get the chance that they didn't get, and which is the reason why they ended up in this prison. That's the trend, the AI, robotics, coding and the rest. That's what is happening outside there. In fact, this team attests that they have this program outside there. So them coming here inside this facility, a correctional facility, to impart on the boys who are in conflict with the law is just an implementation of what the Convention of the Rights of the Child of 1989 says on juvenile in conflict with the law the Beijing rules and the Havana rules on children who are in institutions and also within our domestic law, the Constitution of Kenya and the Boston Act, Chapter 92. So it's a very inspirational project and we are very proud to be part of, of this new kind of digital inclusion. So I appreciate a lot for this collaboration and it's my wish that as we expect from them, they also get full support from us. On behalf of the Department of Kenya Prison Service, the State Department for Correctional Service, and the Government of Kenya, I express my sincere appreciation to the, close, to the two organizations, the Close the Gap and the Tech Kids Africa, for thinking about us, those in conflict with the law. Thank you.